friends. Today's video focuses on activities for our youngest friends, friends, babies. We're spending more time at home right now and maybe you're looking for some new ideas of things to do with your baby at home that you can use items from home and also won't break the bank. These fun and easy activities help st stimulate your infant's development and will hopefully bring on some smiles and some giggles along the way. Um, Remember, much of your baby's learning is happening in the first year, and it all happens naturally when you talk, read, make faces, and interact with them. So here I have just a few different things that you can do with your babies, and sometimes you're just going to have the stuff around the house, so that makes it super easy. This is just an old container. I think it had breadcrumbs in it, and I made it look a little bit pretty and I've cut some slits into the top of the plastic lid and honestly it's just a transfer toy because we know that babies, toddlers love to transfer things. They like to dump things, they like to move things. So this is something that's really easily accessible for them. As your babes are smaller you can make the slits a lot bigger so it's easy for them. You want them to have success with this not frustration. And honestly it's just something like this. They're putting the popsicle sticks in there you can create different openings and shapes for them to put stuff in it and it's just a fun transfer toy. This is an old wipes container and if you have babies or toddlers you probably have some of these around and all I've done is put some fabric in here and tied it together and let them pull and pull and pull and pull and just have some fun. You can put different things inside here for them to pull out Put it all back in there and start again. Lots of fun and hopefully we keep them busy for a little while. This is just a really easy little activity and it's painting but with yogurt. So if they are sitting in their high chair or just sitting at the table, this is something you can do. And all I've got is some yogurt. I've lined a tray with foil for easy cleanup and got some yogurt and some silicone baking little brushes here and let them just go to town, come on. And if they get their hands in it and do some finger painting, come on, now it's a good time. So that is just a fun, easy thing that might keep your babes occupied while you're maybe trying to get something done in the kitchen. Lastly, and this is a fun sensory experience, is our cooked spaghetti and I've colored it as well, which is actually really easy to do. So all I did was while the water was boiling for the pasta, I dropped a bunch of food coloring in there. You're going to want to use quite a bit. And then I put the spaghetti in there, cooked it up. You want to cook it al dente. When it's done, I just added a little bit of oil and a little bit of cold water just to kind of get rid of the starch and make it less sticky. And come on, look at this. Let the kids get in there. Depending on how messy you're gonna let them get, they can sit on the floor with this or on their high chair, and it's a good time. And again, if it's something they put in their mouth, it's okay, because it's safe. So hopefully you've been inspired by one or maybe all of these activities that you saw here today. I hope maybe you'll try them, have some fun with them, but don't forget, the best toy in the toy box for your baby is you. Have fun, and bye for now.